If you've ever looked at your dog and wished that they could tell you all about their background and family history, now they can. Kind of. Much like you can get a kit to find out your family history through DNA testing, you can do the same for your dog. Wisdom Panel performs DNA tests that can help you learn more about your pet. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and a Wisdom Panel dog DNA test can identify things like your dog's breed, pinpoint potential genetic anomalies that could cause health problems later in life, as well as help you learn more about your dog's proclivities and breed traits that will affect their behavior. Wisdom Panel gave me the opportunity to do a DNA test on my dog here so I could see what the experience is like and what I could learn about my dog Rainy, a little mixed breed rescue that came to us from Mexico. Wisdom Panel offers two tests, the basic breed detection test and the more in-depth breed and disease detection test. And that's the one that I got. Once your Wisdom Panel kit arrives in the mail, performing the test is simple and takes just seconds. Inside the box, which you will need to save to ship the samples back, are two swabs in a sealed plastic wrap, and you'll need to save that too. The swabs look similar to mascara wands on long handles. You'll rub each one around your dog's mouth for about 15 seconds and then pop it back in the cardboard box to dry for a few minutes. Then you'll slip them back into the wrapper. Next up, you need to activate your kit online so Wisdom Panel knows where to send the results. You'll create an account and the site will give you a special number or activation code which gets written on the swab wrapper and on the box. With that done, you'll seal it up and send it off. It's postage paid even in Canada. Results do take several weeks, but Wisdom Panel keeps you up to date both online and via email about your dog's test results. After about three weeks, an email landed in my inbox declaring the results were in. The Wisdom Panel results come in an easy to read, colorful and personalized report. You can view the very detailed report online or print off an abridged version. You get things like breed percentage breakdown, plus detailed information about each breed, its characteristics and tendencies. This can help you understand why your dog never tires, why it's more lackadaisical, or always on high alert for intruders. You'll also get a family tree, health markers, an ideal weight range for your dog, and their personality and behavioral traits. So let's dig in on what you get. You start with a pie chart, which breaks down your dog's breed percentage. Rainy was billed to us as a lab cross, but she clearly has some Doberman features, so our best guess was that she was a lab Doberman mix. Wisdom Panel's test results show Rainey's breed percentage as Boxer, Staffordshire Terrier, Chihuahua, Cocker Spaniel, and something called breed groups. Girl. Looking at Rainey's Good results girl. and then looking at her, it might be easy to say no way, since one might wonder where the obvious Doberman characteristics fit in. And this is her with a Doberman pal. To help me interpret the results, I spoke with Angela Hughes, one of the principals at Wisdom Panel. She explained that some customers are confused by the breed group's designation, but that this means your dog is likely so thoroughly mixed, so far back in their lineage, that it becomes harder and harder to pull specific breeds from the results. What you can see is where the strongest markers come to the forefront. So where does that leave my little Doberman-looking puppy? Perhaps somewhere way back, one or more of her relatives was a Doberman, but that her DNA has become so mixed up, it's now too distant to tell. So what else is a dog DNA test good for, aside from being able to dazzle your friends at the dog park? Wisdom Panel's test can tell you if your dog carries any mutations for health issues. Rainy here was all clear, but my friend's dog, which I also had tested, did test positive for a marker that shows he's going to be prone to hip problems later in life. Now, since he is a senior dog, we can already see this happening. If he'd been tested earlier in his life, he's also a rescue, Perhaps more care could have been taken with his diet, weight, and exercise by his previous owners to stave off problems. One of the things I found very interesting was the traits section. Wisdom Panel can see traits about your dog based on their DNA. With Rainy, here's just a couple of examples of what Wisdom Panel found and how it's reflected. When it comes to her ears, Wisdom Panel says Rainy probably has base erect ears, which means the base of the ear stands up while the tip flops over. The truth? Rainy's ears do exactly this. When it comes to her coloring, Wisdom Panel found that producing black pigment isn't one of the things Rainy can do. That means her coat will be chocolate rather than black, and it also means her nose and the skin around her eyes will be pink or brown and the eyes light amber. In truth, Rainy hasn't got any black anywhere on her, and she definitely does have those human-looking brown eyes, and the skin around her eyes and nose is definitely pink. 
The Wisdom Panel DNA test also found that Rainey's legs should be relatively long in length, and in truth, she does have very long legs. Overall, there's definitely a lot of information in the Wisdom Panel dog DNA report, and I'm really glad to have done it. The report for my dog and my neighbor's dog were vastly different, so any conspiracy theorists who might think you get the same report no matter the dog can sleep easy. I found the results jived really well with not just the visual traits that I can see, but with Rainey's characteristics overall. She can be wary of strangers and quite protective of me, but at the same time, she's eager and fast to learn and freakishly intelligent. She can open doors and sliding doors and almost doorknobs. She's very smart. She's also very alert, quite active, and very playful, despite it being nap time right now. The Wisdom Panel Kit also recommends weight guidelines for your dog. So for Rainy, based on her genetic makeup, they've given us some guidelines, and that was quite helpful for us since when we got her, she was very underweight, and we weren't sure how much weight to try and put on her. Overall, though, I'm glad to see this little Mexican mix has no major health concerns in her DNA, so I hope that means she'll live a long, healthy, and active life. Overall, I can definitely recommend the Wisdom Panel experience. You can order it right from the company's website, which I'll make sure is linked up here. The basic canine breed detection test sells for about $84 US, and the Wisdom Panel Health Canine Breed Plus Disease Detection Test sells for about $149 US. If you want to read more and see my detailed doggy reports, they're online at techgadgetscanada.com. You can post any questions you have either there or, of course, here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it really helps me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video. I'm at Erin L. Y Y C.